Hey guys, it's John, and welcome to my playthrough of Left Alone. This is a new indie horror game on Steam. Retails for $7, and there's a download link in the description. I have new headphones! You may have noticed, because they're very noticeable. Uh, these are the Audio-Technica M50s. I just figured it was probably time for an upgrade. And uh, they have like some noise cancellation, I think, because I sound like I'm underwater. It's... <laughs> To myself, to my ears. It's really weird. All right, uh, I have no idea what this game is about. We're just gonna jump right into it. New game. Are you sure? Yes. You play as Joel Dent, former United States Marine Corps Special Forces, father of two and recent divorcee. He served for 12 years as one of the highest ranking officers and worked his way to, uh, to captain before being discharged after suffering massive head trauma on duty. Joel was highly regarded as one of best company grade officers and received the highest commendation, Medal of Honor, for his undeniable bravery while in operation. He spent 18 months in a medically induced coma. Doctors said, the odds are extremely low that he will ever wake again. Despite this, his two former squad mates, Mike and Philly, visited him almost every day and watched him make a full physical recovery over the next year. Joel still suffers occasional disorientation and blackouts, which he has regular checkups for. Joel was left having to build a new life for himself in a new city, in a job he doesn't like, and without the comfort of his children and wife who left him for a man in New York while he was still in a coma. Ooh. I gotta say, just a brief interjection. That's one of my worst fears, to be in a coma and just have everyone just kind of move on <laughs> before I wake up. That's like, oh man. <sighs> Plus my YouTube channel would die, so, you know, more importantly. Joel hasn't seen his best friends for the last six months as they were on deployment. They arranged to meet up for a weekend away on a back-to-basics fishing trip to reminisce about the old days. They arranged a meet off a hiking trail in the forests of Wisconsin, which is a good traveling distance for all three of them. Let's do this. Controls. All right, so E is interact. F, I guess, is for flashlight. Yeah, there it is. B, check number of batteries. Q, replace battery. Shift is sprint, space is jump. Gotcha. When families lay broken, a bond something in the face of adversity, use the light to guide you. Isolated from your comforts, every man has his breaking point. Believe only half of what you see and none of what you hear. How scary would it be if the voice inside your head stopped working? Oh, that, <laughs> those kind of flashed pretty quickly. So this game was made by two people, and, um, already, I give it a thumbs up. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But, uh, I know I've said this before, but, you know, any game that's made by, like, one, two, three people, generally impressive. Hey, Joel, can't wait to see you tomorrow. It's been so long. Hey man, yes, we'll be so nice to get away from here. Need a break with the guys. We've gone fishing, we'll be back soon. Follow the trail to the camp. Maybe collect some sticks and rocks to build our campfire. 10 of each should do. See you soon. Oh, I already got me on a little fetch quest, huh? Well, fine, I'll pick up some. I'll look out for some of those sticks and rocks. I don't see any. It's a nice little, uh, one-way trail right here. Wonder how long ago this trail was forged. Anyway, um, back to what I was saying about small dev teams. You know, I've, I've played a lot of bad games, obviously, but... You know, when, when one or two people give it the, uh proper amount of love, they can create something really impressive. I've seen some really cool games made by really small teams, so I'm hoping this is one of them. Are these rocks that I can pick up? Oh, let me have... This looks like a stick. Oh, it is. Is this a rock? Yes. Okay, I've got one of each now. Oh, okay. Dude, I am blazing through this objective. 
No problem. Uh, okay. There we go. Lighter fluid and matches. Sure, I'll take that. What are these things? Whoa. Can I make this? I guess not yet. I don't have enough. Dude, they got this feelsy music playing right now. It's kind of affecting me. It's starting to get the sniffles. How much of each do I have? Um, I don't think I have enough. I think I have like, like maybe seven or eight of each. Yeah, we'll keep going. I'm sure there's more this way. Nope. Nope! Invisible wall! Okay, there's some more sticks right there. I think I need to get a couple more rocks? I wish there was like a... A counter or something of what I have so far. There we go. Okay, there's like a additional area here. There we go. Wood, 10 out of 10. You can't see it because I was in the way. But, um... Let's see. Can I go this way? Invisible barriers keeping me at bay. Don't have 10 out of 10 rocks yet. Hopefully soon. You guys might not be able to hear it, but Hammerman is hard at work in the empty apartment downstairs. I don't know who's down there, but uh, they're, they're hard at work making sure everything's nailed down. All right, I think we got enough. Light fire. There we go. Now what? That was really easy, by the way. Lighting that fire. Uh, make sure to set up your tent and have a drink of water if you're feeling thirsty after the walk. Won't be long. All right, where's my tent? Is it, oh. Oh, okay, there we go, we did it. Uh, drink of water. Is it this thing? What? Something was in the water. Oh, man. Joel, help us out, man! What are you doing? Wait, okay. Help! Joel, we came across this abandoned school and couldn't resist taking a look. Dumbasses. The gate and door were open. The door locked on us and the lights have gone out. Come get us out. Help us out, man! What are you doing? I don't think we're alone in here! Philly B, huh? Alright. We gotta go... towards the abandoned school. With our torch. Holy crap, guys. I'm really sorry if you can hear that. I try not to start recording until like the coast is clear on ambient noise, but holy shit, they just started doing that. I don't know what needs to be urgently hammered down there. Power plant key code, 97. We need to find the rest of it. Alrighty then. Maximum speed, 10 kilometers per hour. Alright, I'll try to keep it down. Weight limit, 10 tons. Well, I guess that rules us out. We should go somewhere else. Uh, okay. Can I go inside the bus, or is that just a, just a prop, huh? What is this thing? Wow, it's like an ancient Greek temple over here. It's like the Parthenon in the middle of the woods. 
Right, yeah. Well, we'll, we'll move on from that. Maximum speed. 10 kilometers per hour. I'm really fast, so... Don't care about those signs. Hi there! Anyone live here? Door locked. Alright then. Up. Oh, looks like someone was making a fire. What was that? What did I pick up? <laughs> Do I have an inventory or... Ooh. Guys, there's a back door. Come on. Is this locked? Just break a window, man. Come on, we're in a horror game. Who cares? Just, just bust it open. Super easy. All right. Um, there's a clearing over here, and ooh, can I jump across this? Something tells me. Ooh, hey, that's pretty nifty. Hey guys, I traversed the water to get over here. And it's a fence. It will just follow the perimeter. I like the uh, wind effects. Feels like I'm actually there. Excuse you? What does it say? Needs power. Alright then. I'll get right on that, I guess. Uh, Wisconsin Sheriff Department. Attention, please keep out. Shouldn't say please. Speak authoritatively. We regret to inform you that the de decision has been made to close the school due to exposure to toxic waste. Whilst further investigation is carried out by the Medical Sant Corp. Oh, sanitation. This closure is to be carried out with immediate effect. You may not enter to collect personal belongings, work, or any other possessions. Entering the premises is a criminal offense and is a risk to public safety. If you have any inquiries or questions, please contact the department. Yours sincerely, Sheriff D. Boner. Boner. Parking. No parking. School buses only. Hey, how am I supposed to get in there? How'd you guys get in there? Any hint? Man, these friends, like, they're able to text me, but... They're not able to tell me anything about, like, how to get to the school, where the school is. Like, drop a pin, you know what I mean? Just pull up Google Maps, just drop a pin in there. That's all I need. Stop. No, I won't. Wow. Who... <laughs> what dumbass was driving a school bus across this rickety bridge? You deserved this. This... You deserved this to happen to you. Okay. So we need to get power to the school to get the gate open. Got it. Um... Wonder if we can go over here, if there's anything for us. Looks like there's a fence. So I, I probably was supposed to get something way back towards the beginning. I'm gonna go back and uh, scope things out. The hell was that? Danger, high voltage. Danger, hazardous voltage inside. Keep out. I live for danger. Or whatever. Hi. <laughs> Hello? Ard gas! Use keypad. I don't know. I don't have the full code. Batteries acquired. Cool. Yeah, I ran out of batteries earlier, sadly. Okay. I don't think that. We can do anything here at the power plant, so I'm going to leave. And we'll come back to this.
Batteries acquired? What? What did I pick up? <laughs> Search rucksack. Map piece acquired. I didn't even see that. All right, cool. So we have the code to the power plant now, presumably. Nine seven two four. Cool. Caretaker's hut. What is that sound? What is? Is the power plant? Is there, is there a problem there? I heard an alarm going off. I guess we'll go check it out. It's right here. 9724. I can remember that. Pretty good. Keeping those numbers locked away. Hi there. Alright, nobody kill me, please. Uh, 9724. Enter. Yes! I made it in. Pick up keys. Good. Uh, school grounds and main school power. Can I turn these on? Oh, looks like I've actually got to get two more switches. Alright then. Um, pull the levers in the correct order to commence power. Cool. So these keys go to the caretaker's hut. So we'll head over there straight away. I think my flashlight might be dying. I have three batteries, so no problem. There we go. Back to full strength. Although we're about to not need it. Hello! Hmm. I see. So someone was murdered here in the caretaker's hut. There we go. We got a mouse trap. <laughs> or should I say a switch? Mount High suspected killer on the loose. Mount High school janitor has a. He doesn't even have a name. Mount High school janitor has escaped the hands of the sheriff department. He is the main suspect in the school murders of six children. The officers have closed the school during the investigation and the log cabin that he usually takes refuge in was left abandoned. Staff from Mount High described him as being very quiet and secluded individual. Hmm. So he fulfills all the stereotypes, huh? And apparently he collected articles about him. Sicko spreads pain and Mount High killings. Jander kills seven? I thought it was six. Six years of hurt. Huh. Alright then. Uh, let's look around for the other switch. Why is he even, why he's even got stuff chained to his bed? I didn't appreciate that. Reporter note number one. Things have been really slow for a decent story at work, and I don't think I have long left until I get the sack. Mr. Thompson has been a total dick lately, ever since Mike stole the Jenkins farm story off me last month. Always was a slimy douche. I really need a decent story, and the Mount High School killings will be an epic article, and would probs make it to the front page. The school is off limits due to the toxic spill, but I have come prepared. I managed to get a gas mask off Peter from Medical Sanitation Corporation. He owed me a favor. I mean, I know I could get in a fuckload of trouble for going in, but I can just run the story as an anonymous interview from some old student. Oh, it's just all coming together for you. Get ready for your epic story. Can't go out the back, huh? Gotta go out the front. All right, looks like we got the two switches, so we're, uh, we're ready to go. Jump scare! Nope. No jump scare. No complaints here. All right, so the power plant. Making my way there right now. And then we gotta figure out the correct order. No. Trial and error. Middle first. No? Okay, it's gotta be this one. What the hell? Wait, is it... Am I depowering?
Oh. Okay, I see. Wait, it switches every time. Does it? No. Cool. Damn it. Okay, there's some sort of bug there where, like, if you just flip the left one twice, it acts like it's correct, but it's actually not. There we go. Engage power. I did it. I have power! Alright, let's go towards the school now. What? Did I have some sort of memory unlock there, or...? What was that? That's a, kind of the same sort of thing that happened in the caretaker's hut. Or should I say the janitor's log cabin. Sort of got a flashback into, uh... Into what happened before. Okay, so we got the power on there was only one light on though if you look see so yeah there's only one green light on so oh wait no there's a button here yeah one green light is enough all right let's do this hey everybody Wow, this is a high security school. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. This bus is on. Can I go inside? It's just on, okay. Wonder who turned it on. That's pretty gross. Let's go inside the school. Main school entrance. Mount High Boarding School. Oh, it's a boarding school. Oh, I can't go in the main entrance. I guess because it's overgrown or something. We'll go around the back. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. Where was that coming from? That was rude. Reporter note number two. Oddly enough, the power seemed to be on in the school. Very strange indeed. I managed to find the button to open the main school gate. This place is really weird, eerie. Hard to think that this was a fully functioning boarding school. The main entrance was locked, but I found a set of keys in the security port cabin. I guess these might open that side door. Side door? All seems a bit too easy, this. It's probably just psychological, but I could swear someone is following me. It will be that janitor. Ha! Yeah, well, reporter, I hate to break it to you, but you're probably dead. Nothing found. Okay, well, uh, let's look for that side door, I guess. How many batteries do I have? One. Side door. Side door. Oh! Hang on. There we go. Hopscotch. Playground. Oh, I love these things. They're so much fun. Can get dizzy on them. Oh, here's the side door. We made it, guys! We're entering the school! 